Hello friends, welcome to today's lesson. Our focus today will be on the human body and we will learn what makes up our bodies, how these different parts help to break down the food we eat and also what are the right food to eat. Our bodies are made up of small tiny living parts called cells. The human body is a collection or a group of more than 200 different types of cells. Bone cells build bones, skin cells build skin, and muscle cells build our muscles. Because they are living organisms, they need nutrients and air to stay alive. Your heart pumps blood, carrying food and oxygen to each cell. Living things do not last forever. Body cells have limited lives. Some cells get damaged when you get hot, others wear out over time. As cells die, the dead cells are replaced with new cells on a daily basis. Some cells live only a few days, others live for many years. Cells work together. They are organized into groups that perform the same function. The group of cells are called tissues. When cells join together to perform a particular task, they are called tissues. There are four main types of tissues. The four types of tissues are the connective tissue. Connective tissue supports the body and binds other tissue together like glue. You may be surprised to learn that the blood is a connective tissue. The blood tissue flows throughout your entire body and connects all of its many parts. The nervous tissue. Nervous tissue runs through your body and connects to your brain. Nervous tissue sends information from your body to your brain. Muscle tissue helps your body to move. It is the softest and most abundant tissue in your body. You will not be alive without the cardiac muscle tissue. It is found in our hearts and its job is to pump your blood. Organs are part of the body that perform special jobs for the body. All organs are made of different kinds of tissue that help them do their job. Organs are formed when different tissue come together to work together. Your eyes and ears are organs, your heart and your lungs are organs, your stomach and your skin are organs too. When organs work together to do a particular work, we call that a system. There are 10 major systems in the human body. Let's list a few. The skeletal system gives our body structure and form. The digestive system works to break down the food we eat. The circulatory system. It works to circulate blood through the body. Now let's look at the digestive system. The digestive system is a system that breaks down the food we eat. The digestive system begins in our mouth and ends in our anus where our waste comes out from. Let's see some organs that are part of the digestive system. The mouth. We chew solid food in our mouth. This helps us swallow easily. All food goes through our mouth. The esophagus is a link between our mouth and the stomach. Food passes through this channel to get to our stomach. The esophagus is labeled one in our diagram here. The stomach is a sac where our food goes to for proper breakdown. It is labeled two in this diagram. The liver is a reddish brown colored organ and you can find it at, towards the right hand side of the human body. Since blood goes to every part of the body, the liver performs a very important function of making sure the blood circulating 
in your body is clean. The liver is labeled 3 in our diagram here. The small intestine. The food breakdown continues until it can be absorbed. The nutrients from our food are soaked into our bloodstream by a small hand-like thread called villi. The large intestine. The undigested food are moved to the large intestine and the waste is sent to our anus so that it can be removed from our body. That's why we need to eat properly so we can have healthy cells, tissues, organs and system. Our meals are meant to contain grains. These grains mostly contain carbohydrates and they are foods that gives us energy. We also need proteins which helps to build our body, vegetables which are very important and should be eaten often and fruit which contains vitamins that sustains our body. Since we've learned about the human body and its makeup, I have here some activities to help improve your understanding of the human body. Answer them correctly and hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you.